Today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for another epic pack battle for patrons. We have Phyrexia All Will Be One versus Dominaria United. Leave your predictions below which set you think will get us the craziest pulls. Today's patrons, we have Skeeter, Sydney C, and I Need Loops. Okay, so grabbing four Phyrexia here for Skeeter. And then we have two Phyrexia, two Dominaria United for I Need Loops. And the remaining Dominaria United here going to Sydney C. Let's get cracking here. Thank you for being a patron, I Need Loops. Any patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck, along with the art cards and anything from the list. And per usual, we'll do our card trick here, so we don't ruin the suspense. We start off with Magmatic Sprinter, followed by Urabrask's Anointer, Churning Reservoir, Cutthroat Centurion, Leon and Lightbringer, Mirren Bardish, Barbed Batterfist, a Forest. Let's chuck that in. The art card is the Surgical Bay. Okay, must be like a Phyrexian Hospital. And what else here? Just an ad card. Foil Evolving Adaptive. And the rare is the Seed Core. Okay, not too shabby. Oh, and a Borderless Dark Slick Shores. That's pretty cool. And Rustvine Cultivator. On to some Dominaria United. Okay, so... Shouldn't be too difficult for you to beat that. We have Vesuvan Duplomancy, and that would be a nice pull if we could get it. We've got these weird masks floating around. Okay, and a foil island. Let's chuck that in as well. Toxic Abomination. Here we go, a Phyrexian. Vanquisher's Axe, Goblin Picker. Colossal Growth, Phoenix Chick. Prayer of Binding, Shalai's Acolyte, Strength of the Coalition, and Tura Kenrad Sky Knight. So we'll check in the legendaries. Ooh, and a mythic, Khan's Silex. I think it might be a low end one, but we'll sleeve it just to be sure. And a Foil Slimefoot's Survey. And that is a pack. Okay, so I'm guessing they're probably about even at this point. So let's continue here with another pack of Phyrexia, all will be one. So how are you liking this set compared to new Phyrexia from the Scars of Mirrodin block? If you were playing back then, let me know. We have Icor Plate Golem, Atrax's Skitterfang, Vivisurgeon's Insight, the Surgical Bay, Surgical Skull Bomb, Tyranax Atrocity, Sinew Dancer, a Phyrexian Plains. Let's chuck that in. Atmosphere Surgeon. Ooh, and we get a signed art card. That is not too shabby. Along with, what do we got? A token Phyrexian Golem. Nothing terribly exciting there. Foil Basilica Shepherd. And the rare is Green Sun's Twilight. Followed by Rustvine Cultivator and Cinder Slash Ravager. Okay, so that was a bit of a dud pack, I must admit. Onto some Dominaria United. So still, I think, a fairly even battle so far. We have Rith Liberated Primeval. So an awesome dragon there. Followed by a Plains. Deathbloom Gardener. Floriferous Vinewall. Gibbering Barricade. Shieldwall Sentinel. Micromancer, Shallow's Acolyte, Strength of the Coalition, Wingmantle Chaplain, Lagamos, Hand of Hatred, and Defiler of Instinct. It's a Phyrexian Kevu, okay. It's probably wanting the other set to win, and a Foil Soaring Drake, and an Elemental. Okay, so the Silex, I believe, uh, was probably the best pull, although the Dark Slick Shores could be... Uh, a couple of bucks as well, so I'm not sure with that lot. On to Skeeter. Thank you for being a patron. Four packs of Phyrexia all will be one. 
And did anyone see the March of the Mas Machine spoilers? So the Phyrexians are invading multiple planes of existence, the so-called multiverse. So which planes are you most worried about? Let me know in the comments. We've got Oxida, Finisher, Silvok, Battle Chair, Chimney Rebel, a Goblin Warrior, Shrapnel Slinger, Crawling Chorus, Bladegraft, Aspirant, Aspirant's Ascent, a Phyrexian Forest, good deal, and Vivisection Evangelist. Yeah, that is not creepy at all, is it? Okay. And what else we got? Game plan. Okay, Battle Bond from the list. Been a while since I've seen that one. And a foil Terramorphic Expanse. And Red Sun's Twilight for the rare. Along with a Sawblade Scamp and Resistant Skywarden. Okay, so that pack. I'm not sure about the list pool on that one. But uh, yeah, things pretty slow so far, I think. Let's hope we can change things up here. Oh, that's nice. Sheldred's Edict. So there's a buck right there. Minor Misstep. That one as well. Furnace Punisher. Basilica Shepherd. The Fair Basilica. Basilica Skull Bomb. Vault Charge. Icor Synthesizer. A Phyrexian Forest in foil, no less. And free from flesh. So what is that supposed to be? Like an elemental or something? Pretty cool. Oh, and a magic mini game Booster Blitz. And Skeeter jumping up and down with glee right now. On the other side, you even get a Phyrexian Might. Yes, I think Phyrexia all will be one is clearly the winner now. We've got Exuberant Fusling, a Phyrexian Goblin Warrior. And Argenta Masticore. Okay, that's a bit of a letdown. And a Mere Convert. Okay, so we've got two more packs here. Phyrexia. A very uh, average opening, I would say, so far. I could be totally mistaken about that, but I don't think so. Let's see if we can turn things around here. we got Blade Hold War Whip. Rebel Salvo. Chrome Prowler. Mandible Justicia, Orthodoxy Enforcer, Prologue to Phyresis, Meldweb Curator, a Swampage, and Kaya Intangible Slayer for the art card. So Kaya kicking butt here. And Zethi, Arcane Blade Master. So this is an SLX card. These are reprints from Secret Lair. We've got a Foil Blight Belly Rat. And Evolved Spinoderm is the rare, followed by a Rustvine Cultivator and Hexgold Halberd. Okay, last chance, Phyrexia. We better see an Elish Norn here, or I think you are out of the race. Uh, if not, it's probably going to be a pretty close battle. Okay, final pack of Phyrexia. We have Infested Flesh Cutter. Delightful, swooping lookout. Gleeful Demolition, Duress, Whisper of the Dross, the Dross Pits. That's where we are right now with these packs. Gold Warden's Helm, a Foil Island, okay. And Icor Synthesizer. Yeah, I bet that sounds really good. Like uh, the 1980s, right? And a token... We got a Rebel token, okay. Foil, Urabrask's Anointer. And, oh, Nissa Ascended Animus Mythic. That is what we're looking for. A Furnace Punisher and Quicksilver Fisher to finish. Okay, grabbing the sleeves here. Nissa, sorry to see that you were completed. I hope they can find a way to reverse the process. Pop these in here for you, Skeeter. Okay, Sydney C up next. Dominaria United, let's go. So really, uh, it doesn't have to try very hard to win. We have Shadow Prophecy for the art card. Followed by a Foil Swamp. Okay, that's pretty worthless So We've got Impulse. Gitu Amplifier, Wooded Ridgeline, 
Clockwork Drawbridge. Tear Asunder, I think, is still over a buck. Cleaving Skyrider, Prayer of Binding. Urg, Spawn of Turg, a legendary. Let's chuck him in along with Baird, I give in Recruiter. And Haughty Jin for the rare foil line breaker Baloth and a magic mini game telepathic transmission. And I am telepathically giving you a signal here what I think of the mini games. Did you get it? And what did you receive in my transmission? Leave a note in the comments. Three more packs Dominaria United. I don't know, Sydney. Looks a bit uninspiring other than that mini game. We got Radha Coalition Warlord for the art card. I think there's a bunch of different variants of that one in the set. We've got a Mountain, Yavamaya Sojourner Snare Spinner, Bog Badger. Yes, there are badgers in Magic. It's awesome. Yavamaya Steel Crusher, Sprouting Goblin, Rulik Mons Warren Chief, a legendary goblin. Fires of Victory, Cleaving Skyrider, Tachuva, Steward of Tides, and Herd Migration for the rare foil Elfheim Worm. And from the list, we have Juraga Tree Speaker. And what is that set symbol? Um, it's been a while since I've seen that one. We probably opened that pack. We almost certainly did when we went through Magic History. So we opened every pack going all the way back to Antiquities. Link in the corner in case you never saw that awesome journey. And then what was this? It's just a swamp. Okay. Yes. What is the name of this card? Swamp. It's a very complicated thing. And we've got a mountain. Shadow Prophecy. Jaya's Fire Nado. Lightning Strike. There's Jaya again. Magnagoth Sentry. Dragon Whelp. Balduvian Berserker, Ellis Ilkor, Sadistic Pilgrim, a legendary cut down. Erg, there he is again, and Shivan Reef for the rare. Foil, Tide Pool, Turtle, and that's it. And I don't know, I think Phyrexia might have the edge in this battle. We'll find out after this final pack. So we've got Shanid Sleeper's Scourge for the art card. Okay, and we have a mountain. Destroy evil. Haunting figment. Citizens arrest. Choking miasma. Tori de Avenant Fury Rider. There's our legendary Knight of Dawn's Light. Aaron Benalia's Ruin. Another legendary Lagamos Hand of Hatred. Radha Coalition Warlord. And Thran Portal is the rare foil. Yavamaya Sojourner. And that is it. Okay, so who won? Let's take a look. Here's the tally. I think it was probably Phyrexia all will be won, but I have been surprised before. Enjoy the pools there, Sydney. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.